Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Slowly we are losing the green. We are blonding the grasses. They are drying out, releasing lots of seeds. Right now I am digging a trench to bury the water pipe. This is the pipe over here. Forty, 40 millimeters polyethylene. An observation is that here below the swale it's much more moist than in the other area below where I did work and there is no swale nearby. What I have also learned about clay soil is that it is not made out of coarse particles but fine plates. Plates that slide over each other. And because these plates can stack themselves very, very equally, uh, almost like a brick wall, and when that hardens, it really becomes like a, a stone wall, a brick wall. Loam, uh, it's a mixture of sand, 40%, and then some silt, 40%, and 20% clay. The clay holds potassium, and magnesium phosphorus well because the surface area of these plates are negative charged, negatively charged, and that's why it can hold on to these minerals. So, clay, very good soil, uh, loam, better. I'm happy to work in it right now because soon it will be impossible. Usually I work with a uh, white line to tell me where to dig. This is what I've done here. But with this tall grass I couldn't do that and I didn't want to get rid of the grass first. So I have these rebar posts with a bucket on the head and I just keeping, keep looking backwards making sure that I am still in line. Now this exact spot made me think um, what is the closest way to the other side? The shortest way. Is it over or is it around? And uh, I was told it is over because uh, on a sphere, if you are not right in the middle of the sphere but somewhere higher up, it's always longer if you take the horizontal line around than going over the top. That's why the aeroplanes fly over the poles and not over the equator. Fun fact for the day. This initial part, quite rocky. And because some water used to come down here in the past,
this is the existing line going from that white area where the pump is there is the other end which I will block off and then I will leave an attachment for a um, 32 millimeter pipe that I can take higher if I need to and then this other end will start here with a T-junction and then it will run this way this is the only route I encountered and damaged sorry sir cork oak Here is another line with my danger tape. Running from the well where the tiny orange roof is up to the old water tank behind the grass. Ah, there it is. The next step is, be careful, that's why I filmed now, because if I miss that and destroy this pipe, then I will be busy with that for quite some time. I am very pleased to be busy with this project. It has been on my list for a very long time and today is the day i still have some adjustments to make on the other end there is the excavator i will bring the line here and then because the next line is going down i must either tap in here or bring it in a loop and then take it down I will see when I get here it's not serious because I can just extend these drip lines cherry trees and then a pear and then a quince this is one here older than these as they say here cenota it is can be noted i also realized that most of the swales run from east west west east because of the land and um, what does that do for me actually is good to have lots of trees close to each other this is the time we we will see what is the influence of the swales it is already dramatic because it gives me drainage on the berms for the trees I'm planting or else they sit in the clay soil, the holes and the roots rot and they die. Our mountains, till next time, goodbye.